Good morning, this is Pastor Marvin Osborne with First Baptist Church of Birmingham, Ohio, and I hope you're well today. Have you ever looked back at your life and say, how did I get here from there? How did I get uh, from Maryland to uh, to Ohio, where I've been for the last 20 years? How did I get from being a uh, just a young, naive teenager into being a pastor of a church how did how did i and you go through all the steps and how did i god orchestrate me meeting my wife and how did he you know and all these things that god has put in place in in my life and what how he's put in place in your life and we sit there and we wonder how did we get from here from there to here but the bible says in psalm 37 23 it says, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. The, the steps of a good man are a good woman, someone who follows God, God who, uh, uh, someone who has trusted Christ as the Savior. The, you know, you're not where you are by accident. The word uh, uh, ordered simply means prepared, that God prepared your way. And if you've sought God, you you believe God, you're, you, you've sought to do what he's wanting you to do. You know, he's prepared the way for you. You're not where you are by accident. You're not there by happenstance. Now, all the good and all the bad and all the struggles and all the things that happen in life were prepared for you. We look at Job's life and we see what was prepared for him. We look at Daniel's life and we see what was prepared for for him. We look at Joseph's life and we see what was prepared for him. We look at Paul's life and the ball and the and the Bible says he was a a uh he was he was called to suffer for Christ's sake. It was prepared. The suffering was prepared for Paul. And all that's occurred in your life did not happen simply because of happenstance. It happened because God has prepared you, prepared it for you. And you know what? Uh, troubles either break us or they make us. And you are what you are um, because of what God has allowed to occur in your life. You know, we live in a land where of the what ifs. What if this didn't happen? What if that didn't happen? What if, what if you know, I turned left instead of turning right? If I'd gone to college rather than going to the military or if I've gone to the military instead of going to college, if I went into a trade, if I did this and that. Listen, God is sovereign. God is sovereign, and he has ordered your steps. You know what? That should make you feel pretty special, that uh, God knows who you are, and God knows what you're doing. And He, God took the time, his time, his precious time, to prepare a plan, a path for you. And also, also make, uh, should uh, maybe uh, take some concern off of you. Why aren't I doing as much as someone else? Only big in the pastorate, you know, and somebody's got a thriving ministry and they've got this ministry and they've got that ministry and they've just built a big building and, and there's a lot of jealousies and covetousness, even in the pastorate. And you know what? I had to get over that myself because in, in Bible college, they kind of, they bring these pastors to you who have built these mega churches and, um, you know, to speak in chapel services. And as a young preacher boy, you think that's going to be me. That's going to be me. I'm learning all this. I'm learning the Bible. I'm learning how to do all these things. And uh, and you almost feel like a failure if you don't have that type of ministry. And I've had to come to terms that that's not what God's plan is for me, at least at this point in my life. And I, I'm pretty content with what God, how God is using me. I love First Baptist Church of Birmingham, Ohio. I love doing these videos and reaching out to people just like you around the country, even around the world. And uh, just through these simple videos, you know what? This is what God has prepared for me. And you know what? I'm rejoicing in that. And I hope that this will help you to rejoice and be thankful how God has orchestrated your life to bring you to the place where you are today. And he's continuing to work in your life and preparing a place for you, continue to prepare your path for you. And we can rest in his sovereignty and be thankful, even in the tough times, that God is still at work in our life. His, your life is not by accident. If you're a child of God, if you're his child, you've been adopted into the family of God, 
you are special to him. You're created in Christ Jesus for good works. You're his masterpiece. Amen? Amen. Remember that God loves you, and I love you as well. And I'll talk to you soon.